Hi, welcome back. Another important direct general project interview question. What are all the challenges you have faced in your current project? In SAP ECC or S4 HANA or any SAP module for that matters. Let me try to explain you. This is one of the common question you might come across in your technical board or else it might be in your project interview board. Okay, let's try to find the answer. I'll try to answer in a simple way. It is a very general way. For example, most of the times in projects, they're finding difficulty to find timelines. Okay. Due to lack of time or else unrealistic, unrealistic timelines, you're supposed to stretch your working hours. Probably you can say that in my last project. So requirements are so complex. So that's why we cannot able to finish the estimation versus the work progress for my requirements. Okay, I cannot be able to, I'm finding difficulty to reach my work milestones within the stipulated timelines, what actually initially defined. At the same time, parallel requirements, adding unrealistic new requirements, so I use it to stretch long hours. I supposed to work on weekends. I supposed to work on weekday only more hours so that, you know, I found very difficult. I found difficult to, you know, uh, utilize, not able to utilize my weekends properly. I worked on weekends also. I worked on, you know, stretching. Uh, I doubled my shift hours to finish the deadlines. Of course, in software, it is quite challenging. So out of my nine to 10 projects, this is one of the challenging project to finish the work. So I lost my combo, I lost my casual leaves, like that. You, you have to give the general answer. This is one way. So someone is specifically pointing out, like, you know, what is the challenging situation? Let me explain you based on my experience out of the projects where I work in one of my projects. I, actually, I'm a PhD and a sport HANA consultant. Okay, but when I was working on ECC in one of the project, a lot of requirements came for pricing. It is not only specifically restricted the validation for your pricing procedure, whereas we have to develop buy table, get table, a lot of custom tables. Okay, there is something called budget that we cannot able to read it. And in our SAP system, where so the custom development required, it's not only directly relevant for SAP project. SAP tool. It's also having integration to data pass through mobiles, a mobile integration for prices as well as, well as like, you know, different set of promotions. It's a specifically tough retail project. I worked for one country so that, you know, I need to explain one by one if it is a technical person. If the project manager, then the answer what I have explained that you have to give. I'll tell you one more challenging situation in my last, the current project where I'm working in one of the MNC where like, you know, I'm supposed to gather a lot of requirements, a lot of imaginary requirements for calculation, okay? So that I performed at some extent and after that, actual formulas came into picture in UAT, such a case, it's become quite challenging. Go back to the development system to fix everything. So that's why we have extended, uh, you know, timelines. See, it's end of the day, client is very, very important to us. He's paying to us. So you cannot say that I don't want to do this. Okay, that's my intention. So for example, I joined in my last project. When I joined, so they have divided requirements as a baseline one and baseline two, like a certain period. So in baseline one, they, they didn't finish one complex requirement. When I joined suddenly, no requirement gathering, no uh, like, you know, further discussion, only one call. They have asked me to finish one interface just like that. So it took a lot of time to understand the Excel requirement, how exactly it is matching with my invoice requirement for INOX to integrate that solution with uh, another third party system. Okay. So to generating the particular e invoice, not only for invoice and credit memo, debit memo, scrap invoice, certain processes, it found a lot of difficulty to map and manage and create custom segments to find right credibility from the customer. This is the place where I utilized my previous experience to get uh, the requirements 
a lot of emails got exchanged. A lot of escal escalation happened. Not my end. I tried to pull the client in many ways to get the actual requirements to finish the deadlines. This is how you can able to explain. So in the similar way, a lot of challenging situations. If it is support project, you can able to explain certain uh, critical incidents where you spend two days or three days. I have few incidents like that when I work in support project. I have extensive experience around learn projects. So, so just try to hmm, remember, probably might work, you might not remember, write, write down the challenging situation where you have faced. Certain time in data migration also a huge issue in projects. Okay, if you are working in implementation or else, you know, cut over, cut over can be a uh, huge issue. Certain times, certain things, uh, if you don't do global level of testing and if you move certain changes, suddenly you need to revert it back and you need to work on that particular night or couple of days or weekends to move the changes to the SAP system. Okay, don't think that the work in IT is on better approaches. Remember, my friend, you'll have a challenging situation every walk of uh, the project and the projects what you are going to face. Please try to remember this and uh, you have to give the perfect answer. Okay. So if you don't know how to answer, if you know how to explain about this one, please write a comments. If you have any certain project interview questions, you just write them to me. So the place where you lost or win, it doesn't matter. It's, we're all here to exchange our knowledge in this particular forum. Okay. So what I would like to say is, if you are not yet subscribed, you can subscribe my channel. Currently, I'm holding 794. I'm near to 800 videos. It's a lot of effort. Last, last two to three years, specifically, of course, the channel got started uh, some four years ago. You remember this, you try to answer the questions in a perfect way. If you have any doubts, you get back to me. This is my dedicated forum, Udemy. Currently, I'm holding 5,882 students with 955, almost 99% accuracy, successful reviews. If you look at this, this is my top post. I'm just trying to add this video also over here, sales and distribution, okay? So, and you can able to immediately, this is one of my top course for pricing you can able to do. If you do these two courses, all SD will be covered 99%. 0.99% accuracy, 0.001% there is exception, like these two are sufficient to get survivor in, 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 in any one of the industry, any particular domain. So these two are specifically I have designed for what I would say for real time. IDOCs, this is the situation where you are going to face a lot of trouble in interviews. Just try this course and getting master to write functional specification without this never ever try to get into the real time environment. Of course, if you pass uh, what do you call this one, you know, interview also, you will find a lot of difficulty, especially in MNCs. They'll throw the work and you have to perform it. It's, it's a tough time for you. So if you don't do these two courses, you better do these two courses, irrespective of any module, SD, MM, FI, any functional consultant can able to pick these courses with a lot of confidence. Whatever I, ha whatever I have learned that has got accumulated, streamlined and filtered and I have added in these two courses, please, Try to subscribe and utilize this an opportunity. If you are looking for S4 and also, I have a few courses. This is for credit management. It is uh, the changes move to FSCO in S4 HANA. Better get into this course so that you know you will be helping hand or also direct consultant for your FSCM financial supply chain management that we call it as a credit management in ECC. You can give it a try if you want transportation basics. You can able to give it a try and when it, when it comes to as for on a business process and a simple logistics business partner concepts, you can able to give a try these two courses also. If you don't have anything, you don't know anything in Asporana, you just try this basic course, simple logistics business partner. This is the basic, the major changes master data. You can able to give a try this course so that you know after that you can able to see that it's all everything is same except few places like in you know, intercompany sales and you know your output determination with the BRF plus and few things BRF plus nowadays no one has that gets to get implemented in particular project because it has a lot of limitation a lot of work to go okay so like this you know I have a, around 20 plus courses are available at my end and uh, if you are looking for support tickets here is the answer. If you're looking for certain real-time concepts, like, you know, advanced payments, I have explained three scenarios, written in real-time incident. I'm just trying to get into the second part for this. Okay. So these two parts are enough to handle any interview question related to support, actually. 
Okay. So that's all for today. Thanks for joining the session. So if you have something in your mind, just write it as a comment. If you really like this video, please like it and subscribe my channel. I'm wishing you all the best. Don't miss even a single second from the video. Watch everything perfectly and learn everything perfectly. Thank you so much. Wishing you all the best. Have a great day. Jai Bharat.